Hola amigos, I'm at the Mission San Francisco de Solano. When people think of the modern day wine industry, they imagine lush vineyards and state-of-the-art wineries. If we go back to the 1820s, we can explore how wine was introduced to California, right here at the Mission San Francisco de Solano. I'm inside the Mission Courtyard, which was founded in 1824 by Padre Jose Altamira, who felt that the last two missions located in San Francisco and San Rafael were poor locations for health and agriculture. He was looking for a more suitable location to build the next mission. Sonoma fit the bill. The Padres were required to plant vineyards surrounding each mission for the purpose of growing grapes to make Sacramento wine. Fast forward to the 1850s, a few years after California became a state, a Hungarian immigrant by the name of Augustone Harathi settled in Sonoma Valley. He convinced the state of California to send him on a research expedition to study propagation methods in Europe's legendary wine growing regions. What Augustine observed during his European travels convinced him that Sonoma Valley's red, gravelly soil and warm climate was the perfect wine growing region to rival Europe's famous vineyards. In 1857, Augustine and others founded California's first official winery, Buena Vista, and by the late 1870s, California was producing more than 2.3 million gallons of wine a year. As you can see, I am literally surrounded by so much history. How cool is that? This is especially exciting for my family at Ceja Veneers because we are building our own mission-style winery, paying homage to how wine was introduced to California through the missions. Thank you so much for following me today. Stay tuned for our next adventure.